we are facing off against Simon here, and he opens sevens on a 550k stack to 35,000. And with the four deuce of clubs, I make the call on the big blind. And, you know, of course, four deuce, a very bad hand. This is probably the worst suited hand that I would play from the big blind. Um, yeah, ballpark, the worst suited hand that I would play. You could even do a little bit of three betting with a hand like this. I'm sure I probably randomized in real time. I can't imagine I would do that much late three betting. And I will say on Simon's stack size, I would lean towards three betting hands that had one big card in them as a blocker to him having the kind of hands that would be an automatic shove. So I think I would rather three bet stuff like, you know, an offsuit king, the occasional ace rag, the occasional, you know, uh, Broadway queen, like a queen 10 offsuit every now and then. Um, these suited hands tend to play a little bit better with deeper stacks, and we're kind of in the middle here, but all the same, I digress. I make the call, and we get a flop of eight of hearts, six of diamonds, three of hearts. I check, and Simon bets 35,000. And again, I randomized here. Really, I think my decision is between raise and call. I do think we need to take one off here with our gut shot, but it's awful close when there is a diamond flush draw out there and we don't even have a backdoor flush draw. I don't really love it. I kind of think we have one of those hands that you could really consider all three of your options, but I'm inclined to say that we should be calling when we have outs. So I randomized, I drew a low number, and I check raised Simon here, which I like. And I especially like this if we have a read or are under the belief that Simon is continuation betting a little too wide, which sometimes on like 863, that's a board that some players continuation bet too wide and some players don't continuation bet at all with like their overcard unpaired hands. And you kind of not, you kind of need to know what type of player you're up against. In real time, I don't think I've had a very good read on Simon's continuation betting tendencies. I think I probably just randomized, had a hand that makes for a reasonable bluff, and is awkward to check call, so I check raised. And unfortunately for me, Simon calls. So I was planning to shut down in most on most runouts here. Uh, and on the jack of spades, I did elect to check. Simon, with his pair of sevens, is bluff catching now, and I like that he checked behind. I don't think there's a lot of value to his betting here. Um, he blocks a lot of the draws that could get there, and the river is a five of diamonds, and 